Hi all, this is Agil Ranji. I'm working in GMM SPL as an application engineer of Symmetron. On this tutorial video, we can see uh, about wireframe. In wireframe, main tool or main tool of my wireframe, we already discussed about sketching comment. Now we can see composite curve, line and trim and split, extend. Okay. So the first one will be composite curve. So for that, I will open it. Composite. So we have in composite curve we have multiple options. Okay, one is chain one by one along with open edge 2D single indication face boundary. Okay, first we will go for the chain option. In chain option, we can uh, choose. We can select first one okay so the last one so if you select the last one as this it will automatically select that and the curves okay so the direction is important while you are selecting the composite curve you have to make sure that the uh, direction is in this direction if you are selecting in this direction you want to select in this direction you have to reverse the uh, vector so it will go left like this okay then we can finish by last one is this one the uses will be like if you want to select a huge area there are multiple curves so you don't need to go for one by one you can select only the first one and last one so very simple uh, fastly you can create the composite curve So the next one will be one by one. It's same, but we have to select one by one. The composite curve, one by one. I'll select this first one, okay. then second one, and third one, and fourth one. This guy you can select one by one. So the third one is along open edge. It's also similar like. Uh, chain but the thing is it will select the only the outer boundary okay while we are uh, working on any surface if you want to keep the selector only uh, outer line so we can go for the op along with the open edge if the next one will be 2d single indication so <clears throat> you want to select only this uh, center portion like uh, inside this and the curve so if you select this middle it will select that all the outer curve of this particular box so if you want to add this one also in this composite curve you can select that okay so if you want to select this just click inside it will uh, select only that okay this is how we can create uh, punches so for example if you have a uh, if you are creating punch in strip level so you don't need to select the outer boundary and all you just need to so consider this is a punch okay you want to create a punch like this is half circle so normally we had to go for the chain like this one and like this or otherwise we need to split that one okay that's kind we had to take the composite curve so here the option will help you to take only selector inside you will get that punch so it will help you to create Punch uh, sketch much faster. Okay, there are a lot of options here. Composite is the spline is the or keep the original or remove can remove that origin. Okay, and you can apply the radius as well. Select two. So individually, okay, you can select and you can change by one by one. It will faster your uh, punch creation and straight out. While, clear, while we are discussing about uh, strip layout, I will show that how much uh, uh, easy for to create the punch with the help of this single option. The last one is faces outer boundary. So it will select the outer boundary of the object. So we need an object for that. So it will send the component. Okay. You want to select that outer boundary of this particular face so you can go for the composite curve 
and face outer boundary just select the face it will select the outer face so select this one it will select this one as well okay so for we can we need to select the outer surface of this and the uh, surface so we can go for the same we will try open it okay this is the first one and second one third one that way we can go to up to this so it will select the end uh, so Brazil, I got a composite curve. So now we can work for other options. Okay. It will be easier. So we can see now we have seen this surface uh, composite curve option. Okay. We can give the maximum gap and composite curve without simplicity. We can give the radius like the cycle options are there. We can explore that. Then second one is line. So you want to create a line, okay, about the center. So I will choose this line. Okay. Then this point. Do this point. This is standard. So I will say two points. This point and this point or we have to end so we can need to sell it need to create a line with these two end we can go for the line comment two points one is this one second okay there are two uh, curves so if you have one curve over here okay you can for this particular direction it will create a curve so point to curve and face so there are multiple options are there okay up to this surface is created a line okay point to curve and face tangent to curve by two direction and angle by direction support curve line then we can go for the trim This is the uh, I have created a sketch for that. So we need to trim. We need to trim this outer line. So we can go for the trim. Simply so select that line and double mouse button click. Then you can select which area you need to trim. Okay. With respect to that particular line, it will get trimmed. Okay. I select this one okay. up to this line. Okay. From this line. this can trim that for a center mouse button so we need to select that from this line we need to trim up to this one we can click by side this is a trim option the next one will be split so you want to split this particular line with respect to this line so I select that line which we want to trim. Then second one, you need to select that other line. So it will get trimmed. This line will get trimmed. Okay. This one we need to trim with this. So it's go separated. Then extend. So we need to extend this line, this curve. So we can go for the action as the line. So it's actually not natural extent. So I choose the linear extent. So one side it got extended. So if you want to split, uh, split in, if you want this extension in this side, you can just pick the direction. Okay, same curve or different curve. So it will be separated otherwise it will be same merge so delta is a, otherwise you can, if you have any reference you can select the reference also so this is linear you select that it will go to natural okay natural so uh, i can see this uh, one uh, point one and one ten and twenty 
So it will go for the multiples of this uh, dimension if you click in that uh, plus button. Okay. Press choose 20 and if I select this up button, it will go oh, multiples of 20. It's there in all the options. Everywhere, whichever command you are giving the length, this option will appear. Otherwise, we can directly give the value. You can see some other option also if you want to extend this line up to this surface. So you can go for the wireframe, extend. Okay, I will select this particular line and it will ask me linear extent or natural linear delta will choose this surface up to this reference so it will extend up to this surface okay we cannot play because it's a reference so i will give the delta as 100 and we can flip the cycle okay let's about extent so for example you have a uh sketch like this so if you want to extend this in one direction you can go for the extent and i will choose this line okay so can one i'll choose uh, linear extent i'll give the dimension as 100 delta so it will extend as a linear if you want to click the direction you can click that otherwise you can go for the natural extension okay you can click it so you can extend that particular curve. 